Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to finish uh, what we have doing uh, for four videos. So this is the, the last part. This is the uh, fourth part uh, of our study uh, related to related to the noun clauses. So we are going to finish it in this video. Okay, yes, the uh, gift says, fortunately, we have, we have a real doctor here. A real doctor, not a false doctor, not a fake doctor. Is there a doubt that he isn't a real doctor? No, of course, there isn't a doubt that he isn't a real doctor. It is certain that he is a real doctor. Okay, trip nine. Noun clauses as describing a noun as adjective clause. Okay. For example, the doubt that or if he is a quad doctor is not correct. Okay. Or it is not correct that the doubt that uh, or if he is a quack doctor, false doctor. For example, uh, it isn't approved. What uh, is it? It is this. The viewpoint that one can cultivate themselves without reading a lot and without listening to cultivators carefully. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen words uh, has made up a subject. Okay, so it is not a problem. What is it? The viewpoint that one can cultivate themselves without reading a lot and without listening to cultivators carefully is not a problem. So every uh, word, every phrase uh, contribute, contributes to the other to form a subject. Okay. In fact, the viewpoint is not a point. Okay. What kind of viewpoint? That one can cultivate themselves without reading a lot and without listening to cultivators uh, carefully. That kind of viewpoint is not approved. Or, it isn't a proof that it isn't a proof that uh, because the proof is the adjective, we have to use that here. We cannot omit it, omit it, it. We cannot omit it. Okay. It isn't a proof that the viewpoint that one can cultivate themselves without reading a lot and without listening to cultivators carefully. Okay. okay. So possibility, argument, assumption, probability, viewpoint, belief, we can use all those nouns. Uh, okay, for example, the uh, probability. Yeah. The probability is not approved. The idea is not approved. The point of view is not approved as well. Of course, the point of view, or the viewpoint, requires some adjectives or adjective phrases or adjective clauses. As you know, again, let me say it again, uh, phrases and clauses are uh, in, they are dependent, they are not independent. Okay, they define, they describe the nouns or the noun clauses. Professionally qualified person. Noun clauses after all propositions as object of a sentence. For example, subject word with a word with a proposition as a main main clause, uh, and then uh, of course verb ing. It is very famous, and I'm sure you know it. Verb ing, or instead of verb ing, we can also use noun clauses. For example, after present or future tenses, our company is interested in 
the fact that you have been trying to cultivate yourself both, pro both professionally and kindly or humanly, humanely are also possible as an adverb. So our company is interested in, uh, in this topic, for example, in this noun or in this noun phrase or in this noun clause. Yes, the fact that you have been trying to cultivate yourself all professionally. Our company is interested in it. Yes, uh, phone lost, phone lost. Okay, which says that phone lost. So I am sorry for, I am sorry for the fact that you lost your mobile phone. Or I am sorry for what you lost. Okay, I am sorry for it. I am sorry for what you lost. I am sorry the fact that you lost your mobile phone. I am sorry for uh, I am sorry for the Think I am sorry for the thing that you lost. Okay, I am sorry for what you lost. I am sorry for the thing that you lost. I am sorry for what you lost uh, is the noun clause. What you lost is the noun clause. But I am sorry for the thing that or which you lost uh, is the adjective clause that defines the thing, okay. You are afraid of, now let's, uh, you can put thousands of uh, noun clauses after of, starting with how much, how many, what, where, uh, how often, how many, okay. You are afraid of how much you will pay for the meal. Or you ask about how you can go to the city center. You can ask about how you can go to the city center. Let me tell you. Okay, you have difficulty in. Yes, you have difficulty in how often you see your children. You have difficulty in seeing your children as a phrase, okay? You have difficulty in seeing your children. As a clause, you have difficulty in how often you see your children. Okay? You want to learn if there is a fishmonger. You want to learn if there is a fishmonger. You want to learn the place of a fishmonger. The store of a fishmonger. So when I soon is aware of where Shule can go and what she will do there. Orhan's parents are proud of what he does. Yes, Orhan's parents are always proud of what he always does. Are they arguing about how they can find a new way to increase productivity? Have they agreed on when they will start planting new trees? Yes. Do you see that the question is in the main clause? Have they agreed? Have they agreed on when here is connected, when they will start planting new trees? Please do not worry about what they ate, how often they swam, and when they will turn back. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. What is it here? About it. About what they ate. About how they how often they swam. About when they will return or turn back. Are you anxious about him, your neighbor? Are you anxious about Joe? Are you anxious about the place, the result, the report? Or are you anxious about seeing the report? Okay. Or are you anxious about 
when he leaves. Are you anxious about when he leaves? 13. Frida has got a reason for, for when she will meet the old couple. Frida has got a reason for when to meet. When to meet in a reduced form as a phrase now, okay? When she will meet the old couple is the clause, the dependent clause that defines the main clause. Ferdi has got a reason for when to meet the old couple as a phrase. 14, I haven't got any information about who can organize the meeting. I haven't got any information about who can organize the meeting. Haven't you asked about how many kilometers they have traveled so far? Now, 16, the image says, how do I benefit from price to career, salary, skills, confidence? 16, do you benefit from, yes, it's very famous, benefit from what you have, what you have profitably, do you benefit from it profitably? Do you benefit from what you have profitably? 17. You don't have to worry about how they are able to sell things in good quality. 18. You don't have to worry about how they were able to sell things in good quality. Now, what did Edison say? Edison said, I am proud of the fact that I never invented weapons to kill. On the contrary, I am proud of the fact that I invented, I invented things to serve people. Yes. Now, after past tenses, I am sorry for the fact that you lost your mobile phone yesterday. I am sorry now, at the moment, I am sorry for it. I am sorry for the fact that you lost your mobile phone yesterday. Two, you asked about how you could go to the city center. Yes. Yesterday, you asked about how you could go to the city center. You were afraid of how much you would pay for the meal because the first part is simple past, the second part, the second part has to be uh, in past tenses, past of will, for example, would. You were afraid, yesterday you were afraid of how much you would pay for the meal. You remember that moment, for example? Four, our company is interested in the fact that you have been trying to cultivate yourself both professionally and humanly. You had difficulty in how often you saw your children last year. Six, you wanted to learn if there was a fishmonger last month, last Sunday, for example. I soon was aware of where Shule could go and what she would do there. Eight, Orhan's parents were proud of what he did last month. Orhan's parents were proud of what he has done. I think is much better. Of course, both of them are hundred percent true. Nine, were they arguing about how they could find a new way to increase productivity, increase productivity? Okay, do not worry. Did they agree on when they would start planting new trees? Eleven, you worried about what they had eaten how often they had swam, and when they would turn back. Feride had a reason for when she would meet the old couple. Or Feride had a reason yesterday for when to meet, when to meet the old couple. I didn't have any information about who could organize the meeting. Who could? I didn't have. So 14, were you, were you anxious about where he lived? 
Did you ask about how many kilometers they had traveled so far? Did you benefit from what you had profitably? You didn't have to worry. Worry about, anxious about. Okay. You didn't have to to worry about how they were able to sell things in good quality. You didn't have to worry about how they had been able to sell things in good quality. The now reduction means, uh, as you know, uh, turning the clauses into phrases. How, like this, reduction of non clauses where, how, what, when, why, how much, etc., etc. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, let's see the example. One, Serkan told me where I could meet him. In short, now, for example, Serkan told me the place is the main clause, okay? So it has a message in it, a complete message in it. But where I could meet uh, meet them doesn't have a complete message in it. Uh, so it defines the main clause, okay, uh, as a noun clause. Now, as a noun phrase, it becomes like this. Serkan told me where to meet them. This is the reduced uh, form of noun clause as a noun phrase. Yes, so where to, what to, when to, why to, how much to, etc., etc. Okay, Tassin taught me how I should mix with people. Tassin taught me how to mix with people. A kind of shortcut. Özkan calculated how much he had to give us each. Özkan calculated how much to give, okay? How much to give us each of us. I don't know what I should say. I don't know what to say. Or I don't know what I will say. I don't know what to say. Knowing when to leave, knowing when to leave is important. Okay, with knowing, uh, let's take a look at the image. Knowing is gerund, okay? Knowing is important, for, for example. Uh, knowing the address. Address is noun. So knowing when to leave. Knowing when we will leave, okay? When we will leave is important, is noun clause. But when to leave is noun phrase. Knowing when to leave subject is important. Five, Songul and Nurgul don't understand when they have to leave. Songul and Nurgul don't understand when to leave. Okay. Altu hasn't decided when he should attend the driving course. Altu hasn't decided when to attend the driving course. When to. Shall we take a look at the fifth one again? Uh, to produce more and more sentences. For Sengül uh, and Nurgül don't understand when they have to, when they must, okay? When they can leave, when they will leave, when they are able to leave becomes Songül and Nurgül don't understand when to leave. Okay. So according to the situation, uh, it is understood. Okay. Seven, Burji can't decide whether she will study abroad or not. Burji can't decide whether to go, to go or to study. Let's uh, uh, delete one of them. Uh, Burji can't decide whether she will study. So let's, this is also true, but let's, uh, of course, there can't be Two verbs. Burcu can can decide whether to study abroad. Burcu can decide whether Burcu can decide whether she will study 
for example, advisor programs, academic programs, uh, abroad. Burcu, uh, Burcu can decide whether she will study academic, academic, academic programs abroad or not. In short, Burcu can't can't decide whether uh, whether to study or not. Okay, this is the end of. Uh, what we have, what we have, yeah, what we have been uh, studying uh, since the first video of the four, of the group four videos, of the group of four videos. Okay, now question one. I went to the zoo last year and it is where I saw a real lion for the first time in my life. So it's about past. I went to the zoo last year and that uh, time, yes, that, that is where I saw a real lion for the first time. So while I was looking, while, let me delete this one. While I was looking through, while I was looking through some magazines, browsing, yeah, while I was browsing some magazines, I happened to find this article on butterflies or about butterflies or related to butterflies, connected with butterflies, concerning butterflies, article. Uh, about butterflies, on butterflies. The old man is blank. The old man is in such a bad state of health that he is completely dependent on his relatives for care. And on. For I will be away. I will be away for a few weeks. In the meantime. Will you please look after my children? Will you please look after my children? I don't like horror films, nor does Peter. Yes, building, vocabulary or vocabulary building. Okay. All round, adjective. Good at doing many different things. Ahmed Bey is an all round all round doctor, all round teacher, all round person, adjective, uh, hyperactive, someone, especially a child who is more active than normal and who is not able to keep still or be quiet for very long, for very long time. Lethargic is the opposite. Yeah, both are disapproval. Both are negative, as you know. Uh, psychological problem, yes. Uh, lethargic uh, as an adjective, feeling as if somebody has no energy and no interest in doing anything. Like stagnant water. Overcome as a verb, successfully control of feelings, yes, or problem that prevents you from achieving something, succeeding something accomplishing something overcome successful control take the control of a feeling or problem that which prevents you from achieving something excellent word hey hassan is an old round student what do you think he is able to do he is able to he is able to learn uh, foreign languages easily, he is able to solve mathematical problems, he is able to sing a song, he is able to, he is able to uh, cook uh, when he needs to. Okay. It Arda seems unwilling to learn new things. Mitat seems hyperactive. Does Arda and Mitat have high concentration on learning? Yes, fortunately, both of them have 
high concentration on learning. No, the opposite is, but let's be positive and uh, let's hope that uh, both of them, uh, both of them will have, will have a high concentration on learning soon. Okay. Our purpose is just to produce, to be able to make sentences. Okay. Martin overcame his difficulty of cycling because he was determined. Why couldn't Jasmine overcome his difficulty of playing the lute? Yes, uh, just make a sentence. Just it's uh, important to be able to use overcome or as overcame, etc., etc. Jasmine couldn't overcome his difficulty of playing the flute uh, because uh, because uh, he 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 wasn't resilient enough. He wasn't persistent enough. She wasn't sorry. Okay, masculine and feminine, yes. Masculine means pertaining to, relating to, connected with, referring to, relating to, related to, or about, in short, concerning men. Okay. Yes, masculine means pertaining to men, connected with men, referring to men, but feminine, as an adjective pertaining to women, connected with women, referring to women, relating to women. Yes. Meryl's about women, yeah. Feminine means about women. Meryl's goal is to find a feminine job. Whose goal is to find a masculine job? Yes. Uh, uh, Steve's uh, goal is to find a masculine job. Is hunting a feminine or masculine activity? Uh, I think hunting is a masculine activity. What about car maintenance? Yes, car maintenance is also a masculine activity. It is not a feminine activity. Goal means, as a noun, result, uh, result one is attempting to achieve a result that which one, a person is attempting to achieve. Aim, goal also means aim, ideal, target, objective, or object, ambition, purpose, aspiration, especially as yes. destination, duty, and intention, mission, short-term goal or long-term goal. A short term goal for a short period of time, a goal which is for, okay? A target uh, which is for a short period of time. A short term goal is something you want to accomplish soon in a short time. But what about, it is the opposite of, just the opposite of uh, short term goal. A long term goal uh, is something you want to accomplish in the future. Long-term goals require time and planning and patience and resilience and persistence. Attaining a goal means reaching a goal, attaining a beautiful verb. They say that achieving a goal is happiness. Yes, the result of it must be happiness. Why can't a person find happiness if he or she doesn't have a goal, because he or she cannot taste that result of the goal. When does a dream come true? If you, or if we try to do our best to attain a goal, then our dream come true, our goal comes true, our dream it comes true. Our dream actualizes. Eight, by 2010, Emre had achieved or reached his goal of setting up his own business. Who had achieved his goal of getting a job as a consultant? Yes. Uh, 
Erdem had achieved his goal of getting a job as a consultant. Selim's long-term goal is, okay? Selim's long-term goal is to pay off his debt. Whose long-term goal is to save enough money to publish his poems. Yakub's long-term goal is to save enough money to publish his poems. You know, it's just like, for example, Selim's purpose is to pay off his debt. Alper's short-term goal is to start living within his means. What's his long-term goal? His long-term goal is to put aside enough money for a holiday. To save, put aside means, as you can easily guess, put aside means uh, save money for a holiday. Jafer's short-term goal is to buy a computer. What is his long-term goal? His long-term goal is to run a computer store. Okay? Engin's long-term goal is to reach financial independence. What is his short-term goal? His short-term goal is to find a job and begin a payment plan. Freedom of, freedom from. Yeah, these are really important. Freedom of positive things, but freedom from negative things. Harun is free from anxiety. Harun is far from anxiety. Harun is free from anxiety. What is Erhan free from? Erhan is free from hostility, cowardliness, cheating. Yeah, Erhan is free from cheating the other people. And uh, best, uh, most important of all, or best of all, Erhan is free from laziness. And Erhan is free from impolite. Erdem tries to gain freedom from. Yeah, it requires effort uh, to, to be free from a negative thing. Erdem tries to gain freedom from unwanted fears to develop self-confidence. What does Fatih do? What does Fatih do to develop self-confidence? Fatih, uh, Fatih tries to uh, write something about uh, about what he read to develop self confidence okay uh, so we have come to the end of our uh, study uh, connected with non clauses i hope uh, i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was useful See you next time.